Hey, what's up? I'm Myra and welcome to my channel. Um, if this is your first time, well, if everyone's first time joining, please like, thumbs up this video, and subscribe. So, let's just hop right into it. I want to talk about these subscription boxes that I have become obsessed with. Now, the first one I'm going to discuss that I couldn't wait to get was the FabFitFun box. Now, this box is their fall box. Fall 2018 box and when I tell you I was checking my email every day waiting to get that your package has been shipped so without further ado let's just hop right into it okay this is the box let's see what I got in the mail I was super excited first of all I love getting things in the mail so if you're one of those geeky people that like getting packages this is definitely it Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to open this. And, okay, I've already opened this, and I've tried some of the products just so I can give my opinion on them. So, let's hop right into it. The first thing that I'm going to pull out, because I use this, I've used it twice already, this Skin & Co. Blue and Capri or Capri shower gel and shampoo bubble bath shower gel and bubble bath it is from the Italian collection and it's limited edition okay now like I said I've already used this and it has an earthy smell now what I mean by earthy it's more plant like um it is going to give you like a eucalyptus -y type feel, but it's not quite eucalyptus. It has basil in it. Why well, I didn't notice that it had basil and... With sage, wild basil, and autumn blossom. Whatever an autumn blossom is, it smells pretty good to me. Like I said, when I used this, I did notice it had like an earthy smell. I know I didn't walk around smelling like I just crawled out of a plant or I've been living in the woods for a while. It's not that earthy. It's a pleasant earthy. It's more, it's calming and relaxing. Now, I'm going to try this in a bubble bath later on this week to see what that does and what's that like. I feel like it'll give like this almost an aromatherapy type type thing and I, if you combine this with like a good Epsom salt, bomb. Okay, let's sit that there. Next, one of the other items that I use because, you know, I'm all about a cream cleanser. I like cream cleansers because they assist in makeup removal. So this one, I do notice that it says that it's free from skin aging toxins and carcinogen carcinogens. No laurel sulfate, no petro petrochemicals, no artificial fragrance, no nitrosamine releasers, no DEA, no TEA, no parabens, no par paraffins, no synthetic colors, no glycol. It's a lot of no in this. It's a lot of no, a, a no. It's just a no. It's a lot of no. By Grown Alchemist. This is their cream cleanser with olive leaf. What is that? Plantago Extra. Extra. Now, like I said, I use this. I've used this twice. I use it once at night, and then the next day I use it in the morning. I enjoy this smell so much. I almost wanted to use this as an all-over body cleanser, but it just wouldn't have made sense. It. It has. It has like a a fresh baby wipe smell it gives you kind of almost a baby wipe smell but it's not baby wipe it's not like baby powder but it has like that soft clean it has like that soft clean scent you know what i mean i don't know how to explain it other than soft clean scent but i will say this i used it at night and that whole night i could smell it as I'm sleeping and when I woke up I could still smell it but 
the good thing that I noticed about this is that when I woke up, because I have very oily skin, when I woke up around in my teeth on area, which is normally kind of shiny in the morning, it was, it wasn't oily, but it wasn't dry. It was kind of, oh, I put on a light moisturizer and it's kind of, you know, a little dewiness to my skin if that's what you choose to use. <clears throat> so I was like, I wonder if this will work on a day where I'm going to wear makeup. So as I went about my daily routine, I took my shower and I used this as a facial cleanser and it's a cream cleanser. I did notice this on my hands when it rinsed, it rinsed really clean. But on my face, I don't know if it's because I have oily skin, but it felt like as if I was to put lotion on my face and then rinse it off, I still had like a, a moisturized type feel to my skin. It wasn't dry, but it didn't go beyond that point, if you know what I'm saying. So once I applied my makeup, I did notice that throughout the day, even if I wear matte makeup or I'm constantly refreshing my powder all day, as I'm wearing this, well, I'm not wearing it, but I use this. And then when about my makeup <clears throat> throughout the day, my face didn't get oily as quickly as it normally would. Now, I don't know if that's because of this or the combination of this and a matte makeup, but I like it. It's a good buy. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to go through and go with the prices. I do know for sure that this is a $45 facial cleanser. And this is a $22 body wash. Would I buy those products on my own? No, not for those prices. But I'm glad they came in this box because it opened my eyes to something different. I might go out and try and find a cream cleanser. Probably not that price, but around there. Somewhere around there. The next thing that I found that I thought was interesting and kind of odd to get in the subscription box were these decorative towels. I mean, I mean, it's fall, so I guess, you know, those fall like holidays are approaching i guess they want me to get in the kitchen and bake a little bit more but these towels are pretty cute now they're very neutral so i can imagine that they will go with anything if you can see they're kind of like a gray and a white stripe it's a pretty neat pattern but one thing i do know is these are probably for pure decoration because they're not as thick as a regular dish towel as we call them or a decorative towel they're kind of thin. It's a, little, it's a little thin. So I don't see this being used to dry off any dishes. It's probably just going to be around hanging in the kitchen. You know, just, hey, hey girl, what you cooking? It's cute. It's cute. I can do this. I can do this. And you get two. From what I read in the little pamphlet that came in here, these are $14.95. I, I can't see myself paying $14.95 for two decorative towels when I live in a dollar store or Dollar Tree. Walmart has some great towels. But these were cute to get. I mean, I would like to receive them as a gift. Would I buy them? Not so much. Not for that price. I probably wouldn't buy those. The next thing that I noticed that I was really excited about, because this is one of my choices. If, do you, if you have the FabFitFun subscription, you know, when it comes time for you to make your choices, there's a couple of options you can choose between. It was either this and something else. And the pamphlet will get to that. But these are Bluetooth wireless headphones. I guess if they're Bluetooth, they'd be wireless, right? That makes sense. These are Bluetooth headphones by Cobra. I got the white pair. The option was white or black. And I'm saying, well, let me be different. All of my other stuff is black. So let me try this. I can't wait to try these. I have a pair that I'm currently using right now. And I didn't want to open them and use them for the sake of this video. But since I've already made this video, these are going to get a workout tomorrow. Now, from what I read, these are $45. I'm glad they came in this box because... This packaging doesn't give me $45, so hopefully the sound quality is $45 worth. And, oh my God, that almost fell just now. And I will get back to you on that. This is something I'm definitely going to cover in a later video to let you know that was worth the buy. If you don't get the subscription. Oh, cool. I got 
got a Luna Rika bar. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about these Luna bars. I'm not really that big on like health food or, you know, these things. Um, this is their Salted Caramel Nut Bar. Let's try this. On top of the fact that I'm hungry, this is perfect. Hmm. Okay. This isn't what I was expecting. The picture would have you think it's going to be like a bunch of nuts held together with some caramel. But it almost resembles a, a snicker. Oh my God. Wow. Um, it's different. It's a little thick in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. No. I'm good on that. Mm-mm. Maybe a different flavor. I do like the texture of it because I thought from the picture, it was just going to be, like I said, some nuts that they kind of rolled around in some caramel and formed them into a bar that I wasn't looking forward to. The visual of this, I was like, okay, this could be cool. It has like a natural peanut buttery taste, like not your traditional peanut butter, but more of a, a light peanut buttery taste. I don't get the salted caramel at all. I get the salted nut. I'm a little thrown by this. I'm think I thought that was chocolate. And it's not, I have no idea what is what that's even molded together with. But it's no for me, dog. Mm -mm. I'm good, love. Enjoy. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, wow. Some more beauty products. These Glam Glow Sheet Masks. This says this is a bubble sheet mask. It's oxygenating a deep cleansing mask. The picture would have me believe that the mask itself is black and that it will bubble up and you just kind of massage it in and we're going to check this out and get back to you. They say that these are $18. Now you get two. I'm hoping it's two for $18, even though $18 is pretty pricey for a sheet mask. I'm good on that, but I will let you know how that works out and what I'll be. A beauty blender. I've been trying to find a beauty blender for the longest. I keep walking into these drugstores. I had gotten a beauty blender out of Walmart by Real Techniques. And I loved it. And it disappeared somewhere. I have no idea where it's at. Ooh, it feels so light and fluffy. It's so squishy. All of the other beauty blenders that I have had are like, stiff styrofoam so i feel like i'm get really pressing this i can't wait to try this out oh man that's cute it comes with a little book and this little case that it's in i read that this is twenty dollars kick me in the face if i walk into a store and buy this for 20 bucks i'm not i'm not i love the fact that i got this because i like to use those but i'm not going to spend twenty dollars on the beauty blender no man you can have all that this other item that i got here okay before i sit this down let me uh just move this box out the way because it's in the way i uh got a ceramic stainless steel teapot now i'm a tea drinker me personally i like tea i'm not into coffee i don't really like coffee Coffee didn't really do anything for me. 
one of the options that was with this was either this tea kettle or a coffee press. I would have no idea how to use a coffee press. It looks ancient. It looks like something you find in a diner somewhere, just sitting on the table. It almost looks like that thing that if you go into a barbershop or a beauty salon, the little container that the barbersaw is in. That could be what that is. I don't know. So no, I didn't pick that. I got this cute little tea kettle. And I love it. It is so dainty and pretty. It almost makes me want to have a tea party. I wish it would have come with like a, a teacup and a saucer with it. This is perfect for me. Comes with a little bit of the infuser. You can't really see the little holes in it. So I guess if I had like some pure tea without the bag and just put the leaves in here and add my water and get to sipping the tea or spilling it. But it's tea all together. I love to drink tea. Now, one of my favorite items that came in this box that I knew for sure I couldn't wait to get. As soon as I made that choice, I was like, yo, where's my box? I need that box. Of course that did that. And because I've been using this bag since I got the box, this is a Vince Komodo. Komodo. I'm not sure how you say his name. It's a Vince Komodo tote. Yes, you hear things rolling around in this bag. Like I said, I've been using this. Now, this bag values at $128. $128. This. I mean, it's real cute to put your tablet in. I mean, it's not a load em up bag, which clearly I did. But it's very, very cute. It's a nice, a real quick run to the office. I need a bag to carry my tablet or my, 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 my laptop in or something with a notebook. Or just to have to be on some, you know, oh, I got a bag, a high price bag. It's cute. It's real professional, like, I would say. It, this is definitely something you would wear to work. I love that bag. I'm not sure how I'm going to make it work in my everyday, but I love that bag. And the other item that I got out of this box were the Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo in Penny, which I'm wearing right now. I just wanted to do that a few times. Don't judge me. I mean, you can't go wrong with the lipstick. Now, this is supposed to be a lipstick that has, like, that metallic finish to it. Right now, I'm wearing the side that kind of dries down matte. Like I said. Try a little bit again. But do you see that shine that comes through there? But because I have these full little pouty puppies, I I wore a lip liner with it. Don't don't do that to me today. I wore a lip liner just so that. Because it is like a coppery tone, my lips don't completely blend into my skin. It looks like this weird nude. But it also has a gloss side. I'm not going to put the gloss on my lips because I like the way this looks. That. Oh, my God. Oh, that is strong. That is super pretty. I'm taking that. That by itself would be gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it would be. You know what? Just for the sake of doing it. Hmm. 
<clears throat> to me, the gloss kind of takes away the metallic finish of it because this just really looks like any old frosted lip gloss. I mean, it's really frosted, but on top of that matte side, yeah, it does something to me in this light. It makes it look a little silver. But like I said, I enjoyed the matte side better. But this is definitely one of the, uh, the things that I couldn't wait to get. This, that bag. This and that bag. I was super excited about the Luna Bar until I tasted it. You won't get my money. I won't go buy that. Thanks for the sample, though. I appreciate it. Love it. Will I continue to eat it? No. Not at all. They also gave me a fifty dollars gift card to HelloFresh. Now I'm not sure how much of a gift card it is because I've never, you know, decided to go. Well, let's try HelloFresh. I don't know what their box prices range, and they're like, "Well, get twenty five dollars off your first two boxes, and free shipping." $50 gift card. I might have to check this out because if this is a genuine $50 gift card and not a discount, I'll bet I'm gonna give me some little food to cook up. We're gonna, I'm gonna let it, and then we're gonna review Hello Fresh. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. The Beauty Blender, I love. I use a regular beauty sponge that I got out of a Walmart or the beauty supply store. I never actually had the beauty blender. So as far as this goes, this is going to be an interesting try. I already like how it feels. Now, like I stated earlier, the shampoo, shampoo, I could probably use it as a shampoo, but the body wash and the bubble bath combo, I really like that. That's kind of a everyday clean. If you just need something to help you unwind, I feel like that would be that. That cream facial cleanser, definitely. Oh, those headphones, spot on. Spot, bravo. If this is the fall box, I'm excited about the winter box. Because, you know, Christmas will be creeping around. And I am sure there's going to be something in that box you're not interested in. And being that these are usually high-end items, you can gift it to somebody. Provided they hadn't seen a review on it or a video of somebody unboxing it. But they would make a great gift. If I didn't need these headphones, I'd gift them to somebody. I'm lying. I would not keep them for a rainy day because my headphones always break. But that tea kettle, everything in that, I would gift away except for that bag. I knew for sure that would be mine. But overall, the subscription itself, I love it. This is my third box with them and everything I've gotten. It's been well worth the money. Now... I think when you sign up, it's $49.99. $49 but if you find someone that has like a link or a discount code like I did, when I signed up, I only paid $39.99 for my first box. And then I said, you know what, let's up the ante a bit. I want to be select. So that means I paid for a year subscription. Not by choice, by mistake, because I wasn't clear on what they were asking me in that email. I thought they were just going to give me a list of reasons why I should be select. When I click yes, I want to be select. But no, right from there, they billed me. Oh, this is what you're going to pay. Oh, yeah, we already charged you, but this is what you're paying. Oh, this is what you paid, and then this is what you get. So I would have liked to have a little bit more of a heads up on that part of it. But everything else about it, I love. Now, my subscription is $179, and it paid for itself in the first box. And then the second box came, and it paid for itself again. Now, I'm in my third box, and this box altogether is totaled over, over $370. The last one was like over $250, and the one before that was over $250. So, I'm already, what, $250, $250, that's $5. Plus 370 That's $870. <clears throat> and we're not at the end of the year. So I'm guessing at the end of the year, I would have got received at least $1,000 worth of products. 
for $49.99 or if you're like me, $179, which is not bad because I don't like to spend money. And if I don't have to spend money, I'm not going to. So if I can pay that small fraction of the price with some of the products that I've gotten, I'm cool with that. Now, with that being said, I'm going to, because this video is already kind of long, and this being my first video here on YouTube, oh my gosh, why does everything want to itch when I'm recording? Like, this being my first video on YouTube, because before I would do my unboxings on Facebook Live, and those were only with my friends and family, and they were like, we'll just bring it to YouTube. So I did, and I'm here. This is a little rough around the edges, it's going to only get better. So I'm going to be talking about more than just these boxes. I'm going to be covering, I might be even vlogging because I'm on dialysis. If you don't know what dialysis is, research it. I'll explain that in a later video. But now I need to move on and check out these next boxes. But this is the end of the Fab Fit Fun Fall box. Now the fun does not have to end here. Comment below. Let me know what you think of some of the products. Do you think it's worth the money if you try the products? And if you try the subscription, do you think you well, would you see yourself if you're like me? Would you see yourself paying for another year subscription, or would you even continue on the month-to-month -month basis? Let me know. We can talk about it. Also, if you have any suggestions of any other subscription boxes you think would be neat for me to try, let me know. I live to get a package in the mail. I live to get a package in the mail. I like to get letters in the mail, not bills, letters. I love getting things in the mail. So subscription boxes were it for me. I've subscribed to at least one, two, three, four, that are faithful right now, five, okay. And I just added three more, ranging from comic book things to stationary. I joined a stationary subscription, yes I did. Absolutely. And I'm thinking, just because I love bagels and cream cheese, we're doing bagel of the month. I don't know how that'll work because I'm so far down south. Whatever. But this is the end. I'm sad to see you go. But come back again. Have fun.